And on to another country shrouded by sadness, Denmark. Thousands of people came together in a vigil in Copenhagen on Monday to mourn the victims of the weekend's twin attacks at a free speech gathering and outside a synagogue. Makeshift vigils were also held near Danish embassies around the world, including one in Berlin, where flowers were laid and candles lit in the colors of a country proud of its openness and safety record. Denmark's prime minister also said the country was facing a conflict with violent extremists and not Muslims, and pledged to remain strong and not be intimidated by attacks to free speech and other liberties. Meanwhile, local media and Reuters have identified the 22-year-old late gunman as Omar El Hussein, a man with a history of committing crime and who does not appear to be a part of a wider terror cell, according to the prime minister.